Welcome back to the shop. This is my father's Hustler lawnmower. It's, it's a good machine. It's got a Kohler engine on it and a fabricated deck. Been a very reliable machine up until recently and it's got some intermittent starting issues and part of those issues I think is solenoid related. When you're around small engines a lot you just you, there's certain go-to things. The starter goes bad, the solenoid goes bad, connections go bad. It's easy to throw parts at these things when they're cheap if you get on Amazon and type in Hustler solenoid, it says $45 or $50. However, that $45 or $50 solenoid is no different than this $8 solenoid. It's the same thing. You just get people that don't know the difference. So let me go ahead and backtrack a little bit. I'm going to show you the tool that led me to believe that this was the solenoid. I apologize for the handheld nature of this, but it's the only way to get the close-up shot. This is an all-sun electric circuit tester. It has the ability to provide power. If you press the button forward, it's positive. If you press it backwards, it's negative. Which is extremely handy, because when I turn the key... Let's see if I can get this all in frame. Oh, that's a new sound. Sounds like a bad connection at that point throwing my video off a little bit. However, let's we can go ahead and bypass that that bad connection by going ahead and if I hit the button forward I'm applying 12 volts. So automatically I was able to determine that the, the key switch was applying power to this and that there is 12 volts getting to here. Then I can tell that by when I make the connection I can't. If I had a third hand I can I can point out that when I have positive power, the light turns red. Hopefully you can see that. So, this this tool in addition to identifying problems with solenoids and whatnot is extremely handy for brake lights. It is one of the best tools in the world for that. I'll put a screenshot up of this. I think it was $25 give or take, but, but probably one of my favorite electrical tools in the shop. So let me get in here and pull this solenoid out of here and we'll replace it with this one and hopefully that fixes the problem. There we go. To reiterate, in case I didn't cover that well in the beginning, we've got this is connected to the battery here, and again, we got the power. So now that we have a good solenoid, the key is let's put it in the run position, not in the start. And I'm going to simulate starting it. So, so that just gives you the ability to, you could do it with the jumper wire, but it's so handy to have something where you can do positive or ground. I'd actually use this for small motors. I had the, the pontoon boat and the trim tilt motor was stuck. I was able to power the trim tilt motor down with this. It doesn't have a lot of amps going through it. Luckily it was a small motor, but but it, but it is proven to be a very useful tool. So, so that's not much of an episode, but I just wanted to show you guys how I go about troubleshooting these little issues and Get some content up, so I hope you're having a good weekend. Well, thanks for watching.